I grew up in a uh, Christian home. My parents believed in Christian education very, very strongly. When I turned 17 and graduated high school, I uh, went to the military. Shortly after graduating boot camp, uh, we were allowed to go off base and one of the things everybody was doing was getting a tattoo and so you know I went into the tattoo shop and uh, looked on the wall and I saw this picture of this devil flipping you off with both hands and it was just angry and mean looking and I said that's that's where I'm at and that's what I'm gonna get put on me and in 19 99, uh, cocaine presented itself to me. The drugs are so loud inside of your mind that it just cancels everything else out. I was in the middle of doing a year in jail out in Utah. It was three days before I was to be released, which was a Good Friday, and this was nine years ago. And three days before I got released, I got a phone call from somebody that called me to the front. And I remember answering the phone and it was my ex-wife who I had my kids with. I just remember hearing her sob and, and say through her sobs that it was our two oldest kids had been killed in a car accident. In July of 2010 uh, is when I got arrested and finally that was the that was the last straw for the state of Nevada. They said, you know, this we're done messing with you. Uh, it's time for you to sit down, and uh, you're gonna do a lot of time now. You know, it wasn't until I went to prison that I saw somebody die. That's real to see somebody's life end right in front of you. It was at that point where I knew, you know, I if I'm gonna do ten years of this. I'm gonna need more than just myself. I still had a lot of mentality in me at that point of, I was running things on the streets and doing, doing things, but now you know I'm in here and I kinda of wanna do the same thing. And uh, I got in some trouble while I was in prison and when you get in trouble while you're in prison, they send you to the hole. And the hole is a dark, lonely place where you are with you, that's it. We were locked down for 23 hours a day, and it was in that time right there where I just remember feeling like God saying, you know, are you done yet? You know, are you done? Like, cause I'm ready, I'm here, but are you done? And so I got to a place in the hole where I was at the end of myself, and I said, I'm ready, you know? And I felt God just, hold out his arms to me and say, finally, you know, finally. March 31st I was uh, of 2015, I was released. Shortly after I got out, I knew that the tattoo on my chest, the declaration with the devil, that that had to change. And I started covering the devil with the cross and the cross has my baptismal date etched in uh, Roman numerals in the top and that just and it's splashing in the water so that is the representation of me being baptized right there. Going up and around the, the fire just kind of represents some of the trials and the fiery things that you know that I've gone through and and I made it through and through that I have felt the Holy Spirit come through me with the dove and he's holding the branch and that's the branch of peace because I finally, for the first time in my life, I feel peace in my life. I'm happy with who I am. This is the first time in my life that I've liked being me. No matter what I feel like I'm going through, I always know that Jesus went through hell and back to rescue me and to, to save me from where I was. And the verse that I have on my arm is 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14. And that is just a life verse that I have. It reminds me every day to just be strong, you know, to not, to not be wary and to wavy in my thinking, to just, you know, be strong and to be watchful, act like a man, you know, and to remind myself to always let everything that I do be done in love. 
My name is Robert, and even though I thought Christ had abandoned me throughout my whole life and left me high and dry, I realize now looking back that He was pursuing me every single day. And when I finally decided to come back to Christ, that's when I made my comeback.